Okay, I'm gonna be a little honest with you this evening. Uh, I'm trying this new thing in this little self-quarantine, social distancing time, it's called not showering, which is why I'm wearing this hat. And uh, the good news, y'all, I don't think I smell bad. Uh, maybe that's just me. Uh, and that's also probably too much honesty. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna dial it back. Uh, what I actually wanna talk to you about this evening is the Bible. And in a similar but uh, less vulnerable way of honesty, this book is sometimes hard for us to know what to do with. Especially, let's say you read a great passage and you want to ask the question, like, what does this mean for me? So I have a technique for you today, and it's called Lectio Divina, which translated means sacred or divine reading. And it's a super ancient practice from the third century, which is a way of praying through the scriptures, locating yourself within them, and listening to what God has for you in a given piece of scripture. And there's really four to five super easy steps. I say four to five because it's kind of debated. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. You could, you could easily Google this and find a ton of different ways. Um, but generally the steps are pick a piece of scripture and read it. I recommend starting maybe with the Gospels or a Psalm or maybe even an Epistle. Those are all great places to start. So pick a piece of scripture. It can be an entire chapter. It can be a few verses and read it. What's happening in that scripture? Listen. The next step is to meditate. And this is a chance where you can ask the question, what does this scripture say to me? What am I taking from it? Um, where am I in this? The third piece of this, the third step, is to pray. And this is a chance for you to take what you've learned in step one and two and bring it to God and say, God, I've just meditated on this. I've just read this. Like, what are you doing in the midst of this? Can you please teach me, show me, tell me? And the fourth step is where you listen to see if God responds. And that step is called contemplation. You can sit with God and just listen. Uh, maybe God will say something. Maybe God won't. Um, that's okay either way. Maybe you can just chill with God. Just sit there in silence and, um, and see what God has to say. And the fifth step is action. Um, in this step, you're able to take the things that you've learned and put them within some type of discerning action that you can go forward with. I do things a little bit differently. Um, again, you can have a, a lot of variations. What I do when I read the scripture, I, I actually do it in three different parts. So I'll read through the passage and then I'll take one minute of silence where I meditate and I will try and listen for one verse that really sticks out to me. It doesn't have to make a lot of sense. I don't have to explain why that's the verse that sticks out to me, but just what's the verse that pops out to me? Maybe it's peculiar. Um, maybe it's what I need to hear. Maybe it's something that's very applicable. Maybe something surprising. And then I'll read it again. Read it. Read the full piece of scripture for a second time. After that, take another full minute and listen for, instead of a verse, Listen for a phrase. It doesn't have to be a whole sentence. Um, just a phrase. Something that just sticks out to you. Again, you don't have to explain why. Just something that maybe just hits you right here. Like right in your gut. You're like, ah, that's the verse. And then read it a third time. And this time, take, your th take a third minute at the end of that third reading. And try and listen for and meditate on one single word. What's the word that's standing out for you? Maybe you find a verse and the phrase comes from the verse and the word comes from the phrase. Maybe not. All of that is okay. So here's an example of how this works. I've chosen for us this evening um, from the Gospel of Mark, the story of the calming of the storm. And this is from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. And whenever I get ready to sit down and to read scripture and practice Lectio Divina, I always take a minute before I even get into the scripture and I quiet myself. Bring it down. This way you're able to really listen. Put your phone away. You don't need it. Um, I also will light a 
a little candle. Um, this is a way of just practicing God's presence to say God's here in the midst um, whenever God's word is read and whenever um, we are praying and God is there listening. The candle is just representative of that. Then I open up, uh, I select a scripture, and then I read. Don't knock over your candle. <laughs> On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But when he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they awoke to him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? So after I've read that for the first time, like I said, I would take one full minute. You can set a timer if you want or just look at your watch. And I would meditate on the phrase, sorry, the verse that sticks out to me. So having read this prior, um, the verse that sticks out to me is verse 39. He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. In that minute, I might think about why that verse stuck out to me. Um, I might wait to pray about it later, um, but I would take the full minute and just think about that verse. Then I'd read it again, the entire passage again, and I would look for a phrase. Um, maybe the phrase would be, why are you afraid? I'd take the minute and I'd meditate on that phrase. And then finally, I would read it again and in the third reading, and in the minute after that reading, I would look for one single word. So for me in this, and maybe for us in this time, the word that sticks out is peace. Or maybe it would be be still. I know that's not one word, but um, that's okay. There's a little bit of flexibility in this. Um, or maybe it's faith. Um, I would take those phrases, that verse, those words, and I would then take them in prayer before God and say, God, what is it you have for me in this scripture? Why are these things being impressed upon my heart? After you prayed, you can sit in contemplation and peace in God's presence, knowing that he loves you and that while he may not answer you directly, he may, um, these things will be revealed to you. Um, God's word does not return empty or void. And then finally, um, after praying, and contemplating, and bringing those things before God, we can go out into the word, world and practice being those who have peace and faith and who can act upon the word that we have read in a way that resonates with our heart, that then we can act within that way in a community and those with whom we love. So I hope um, this video of Lectio Divina might be helpful. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. This is just the way that I have done it and found um, a way to really enter the scriptures, which can sometimes be challenging. I hope you all are well, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.